Hello everyone and welcome back to IAM Tech News. In today's video, we will dive into AWS Systems Manager documents, also known as SSM documents. If you ever wondered how to automate operational tasks like patching servers or managing configurations, this video is for you. By the end of this session, you will understand what SSM documents are and their benefits, how to use them with a hands-on example, and we'll wrap up with some best practices. So let's get started. So what are SSM documents? Firstly, SM documents are a key capability of AWS Systems Manager. These are a predefined set of instructions that define tasks to perform and can be written in either YAML or in JSON format. Think of them as a blueprint for automating repetitive tasks. These documents can execute commands on EC2 instances, automate workflows for tasks such as patching or backups, streamline compliance checks and configurations. There are different types of SM documents, such as command documents, policy documents, and session documents, each designed for specific use cases. Additionally, there is no cost associated with using SM documents. Now let's look at why SM documents are useful. Simplified management, AWS SM documents help you to manage multiple instances and services more easily, even at scale. You can automate common tasks, reducing manual work and making process more efficient. SM documents allow you to create customized automation workflows to fit your specific business needs. Now that we explored the benefits of AWS Systems Manager document, let's dive into a hands-on demo and see it in action. First, we will create an SM document containing a script to update the SSM agent. Next, we'll launch an EC2 instance with associated IAM role. Using the run command feature, we'll execute the SM document on the CC2 instance and compare the SM agent version before and after running the document to verify the update. So to get started, ensure you have an active AWS account. You will need EC2 permissions to manage instances and assign IAM roles. Additionally, make sure you have IAM permissions to create roles with systems manager access. Finally, Confirm that you have necessary permissions to execute commands using AWS Systems Manager documents. So log into AWS Management Console. We will be doing our tasks in North Virginia region. Let's start by creating an SM document. Go to search bar and type Systems Manager and select it. In the left navigation, under Change Management Tools, select Documents. There are different options visible in the AWS Systems Manager document screen, starting with the tab owned by Amazon. This tab lists all the managed SM documents that are provided by Amazon. These documents are pre-created and ready to use for various automation tasks like patching, instance maintenance, and scaling. Each document is shown as a card with the following details. The name of the document, the document type indicates the type of the document like automation, command, etc. Owner specifies whether the document is owned by Amazon, the user, or shared by another account. Platform types list the supported operating systems like Windows, Linux, or Mac OS. The default version shows the current default version of the document. Useful if you have multiple versions for the same document. On the left sidebar, you have different categories like automation documents, these are used for automating complex tasks and workflows such as deploying updates or managing EC2 instances. And command documents, these are used to execute specific commands or tasks on instances like restarting an instance, uh, installing a software, etc. Policy documents, if applicable, these documents define policies for managing resources or enforcing configurations. And then session documents, uh, these are used for establishing interactive shell sessions on managed instances. And lastly, we have conformance pack template documents. These templates help define compliance rules for your AWS environment. Use the search bar to filter documents by name, tag, or other attributes to quickly find the document you need. The preferences button allows access to block public sharing setting, which prevents AWS Systems Manager document from being accessed by all AWS accounts, ensuring sensitive documents remain private. AWS recommends turning it on for better security. And uh, the action dropdown likely provides options to manage documents such as copying, sharing, or deleting them. 
and owned by Meetup displays custom SM documents that you or your team have created. These are user-defined documents designed for specific use cases such as custom scripts or automation workflows. Shared with Meetup contains documents that other AWS accounts have shared with you. These could be custom documents shared by collaborators or other department within your organization. The favorite section includes documents that you have marked as favorite for quick access. You can favorite a document by clicking the star icon on it, which will reflect in the favorites tab and click the same star to remove it from the favorites. The all documents tab lists all available documents combining those owned by Amazon, custom ones and shared ones providing a unified view. However, you can still filter based on your requirements. The create button allows you to create a new SM document. You can choose between a command document, session document or automation document. For this demonstration, I'm creating a command document. In the name field, provide a unique name for your document such as update, SSM agent, Linux. The target type in an AWS Systems Manager document specifies the type of the resource the document can be applied to. In this case, uh, the document is designed to update the SM agent on Linux instances. So you should set the target type as EC2. In the document type dropdown, select the, the document command. Under content section, choose YAML. Replace the existing content in the editor with the following YAML code. A schema version specifies a version of the schema being used for SM documents. Version 2.2 supports advanced features like AWS run shell script. Description provides a brief explanation of what document does. In this case, it updates the AWS Systems Manager agent on Linux instances. Parameters, it's a placeholder for input parameters. This document doesn't use parameters, so the section is left empty. Under main step, define the core actions the document performs. So you can assign a name to a specific step. This name is used internally for identification and debugging. The action line runs shell commands on target Linux instances. Under inputs, it contains details of the command to execute. Run command, hold the shell commands to execute sequentially. The first command download and installs the latest version of the SM agent. And the second command restarts the SM agent service to apply the update. So review the content to ensure accuracy. Scroll down and click on create document. The document created can be seen under Owned by Me. Under the Description tab, the Document Version section displays the currently selected version of the document. This indicates the version 1 is the active and the default version of the SM document. It also provides an overview of the document, including its description, owner, in this case, my account ID, a platform in which the instance runs, target type, which is EC2 instances, Creation date and time, status, which is active, current document version, the latest version, and finally, hash type and hash for integrity verification. The content tab typically displays the actual JSON or YAML code that defines the SM document. The version tabs provides a list of all available versions along with the creation date and time. The details tab provide additional metadata and configuration options for the document. So parameter section would display any parameters required by the document to execute. Attachment section indicates whether an external file are attached to the document. Permission section allows you to control who can access the document. If public selected, the document will be accessible to all AWS accounts. If private is selected, the document is restricted to specific AWS accounts by inputting an AWS account number to grant access to that account. Tag section provides information about organizing and filtering the document. You can add tags at any point of time to enhance document engagement. And finally, category section help categorize the document for better organization. And uh, at the top, delete button 
to remove the document if no longer needed. Action dropdown provides options to edit or modify the document. To test the document, use the run command to execute it on selected instances. Now that the document is created, to use the run command on the instance, we first need to have a managed instance, right? So let's create an IAM role and launch an instance with that role. So navigate to IAM dashboard. In the left sidebar, click on roles and then click create role. Select AWS service as trusted entity and choose EC2 and click next. In the add permissions, search for Amazon SSM managed instance code. Select the checkbox next to the policy and then click next. Give the role a name like EC2 SSM role and then click create role. Now launch an EC2 instance with this IAM role. Navigate to EC2 dashboard. In the left navigation menu, select instances and click launch instances. Under the names and tags, name the instance as SSM agent update. Choose Amazon Linux to AMI and T2 micro as instance type, which is under free tier. Proceed without a key pair. In the network settings, ensure the security group allows inbound rules for SSH. In the advanced details, select the recently created IAM role from the IAM instance profile. Click launch instance and wait for the instance to initialize. Once the instance is ready, connect to it via EC2 dashboard. So select the instance, click on connect and choose instance connect and click connect again to establish the session. Now let's check the SM agent version by running the following command. Amazon SSM agent version. Okay. So the version shows 3.3.987.0. Now let's run the created SM document using the run command on the managed instance and check the SSM agent version again. So go to SM document created, locate the run command on the right side top and click on it. In the command document field, your selected document will already be populated. Under target selection, choose instances manually and check the instance you wanted to target. Leave other settings as default unless you have a specific requirements. Click run to execute the SM document. The command status initially shows as in progress. Wait for a few moments and click the refresh button periodically. Once the status update to success, return to the instance connect terminal. Run the SM agent version command again to confirm the update. And it should display the updated version which is 3.3.1345.0, which is previously 987.0, okay? So in this hands-on activity, we learn how to create and execute an SM document to update the SSM agent. So let's do the cleanup. Delete the SM document. Delete the IAM role created for systems manager. So search for EC2 SSM role, select it, delete it by giving the name. And lastly, terminate the instance. Select the instance, instance state, terminate. To conclude our session, let's take a moment to explore some of the best practices. Use meaningful and descriptive names for SM documents for better organization and discoverability. Create and maintain multiple versions of your documents. Use the default version field to set a stable, tested version for execution. 
Use IAM policies to restrict who can create, modify, or execute SM documents. Test your documents in staging environments before using them in production. Send execution output to Amazon S3 or Amazon CloudWatch logs for debugging. Regularly review execution history in AWS Systems Manager to identify failures or unauthorized executions. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and happy learning.